Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how in GIMP we can Photoshop a person behind an object inside of a scene. So basically what's going on in this trick is that this tree trunk here is on a separate layer from the rest of the image, although it was originally on the same image. And then in between those two layers, we actually have this boy standing there, giving the illusion that this boy is in fact standing behind the tree, but in front of the background of the scene. So let's move over to a new document so that we can recreate this effect. Here you'll notice that I brought in two images. The first is the tree background, and the second is this image that has this boy and this girl. So this time, just for fun, I'll take the girl out of this image and put it inside of the tree background. So a good way to select this person and move it to the other image is going to be the paths tool, because we can just create a bunch of points uh, that we can select the person from. This is a very complicated shape, so uh, the paths tool will work well here. So what I'm going to do is use the paths tool, and I'm just going to create a lot of points while zoomed in around the girl's uh, body. So I'll click over here to start with my first point, and just keep going around. Uh, you can click and hold if you want to do curves instead of just straight lines, but for a rough approximation of pulling this person into the other image, this should work pretty well. I mean, in the end, we're going to be scaling it down a lot anyway, so you won't really be able to tell that much. So the idea here is just go around the entire outline of the girl or the boy's body, or whoever you happen to be moving to the other image. So I will just speed up the rest of this part so you don't have to watch. It's basically the same process. So now I have a selection that goes all around the girl's body. You can see that there's a little gap in here that we'll take care of, but I'll worry about that a bit later, if we need to at all. So for now what I'm going to do is go over to the Paths window, right click the path, and do Path to Selection, so that we can, in the layer, select the girl's body. Control X to cut it out. And then I'm going to create a new layer so that we can separate this from the original image. So pasting that in. Uh, left click, and then because it's a paste layer, I'm going to right click and do two new layers so that it's permanently posted in. I'm going to hide the original image we got the child from, and uh, we could delete that or just leave it alone for now. But we want to re-enable the tree scene. So now what we're going to want to do is figure out where in the image we can put this girl. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll move her behind this tree here. And to do that, first we want to scale her way down. So using the scale tool, I'm going to hold control so that it has equal ratio on uh, top to bottom and left to right. Scale her way lower so that her size is actually proportional to the tree. And we'll move that image of her over there a bit. Probably need to scale her down further, but I think that's kind of a rough idea. So let's scale a bit more. So let's try that. Doesn't look too bad, probably still a bit big, in fact definitely, can go even lower than that in this image. Uh, and now in order to actually get her to show behind the tree, what we're going to need to do is first off hide the girl in her pasted layer. And now we need to take this tree trunk area and move it to a separate layer. So I'm going to use the paths tool again, and I'm going to create a path for this tree trunk area, anywhere basically that the girl should be uh, showing in front of, we need to separate onto this extra layer here. So it doesn't need to get the entire tree, just the areas where it actually counts. So with that path selection, I'm going to right click path to selection, and we're going to create yet another new layer here. So this layer should go above the girl. And what we're going to do is control X to cut that selection out of the tree area. Uh, remember, path to selection so that you can actually get the right selection. And then in layer 1, or whatever your new layer is called, I'm going to control V to paste it back in. 
And now, if we take the girl and show her, she should appear once again. So now we have a few problems. One, the girl's too big. Number two, the part we cut out from the tree wasn't large enough, so the shoe's actually sewing through. But once we shrink her, that won't be an issue. And then thirdly, her color is way off from the actual image, so we'll need to do a color adjustment in a minute here. So we're going to get started by lowering her size down first. And because the tree layer is actually covering that lower body portion now, we don't have to worry about pasting more onto layer one up here, the in front layer of the tree. Uh, so we'll just go straight to adjusting the color. So, so in order to adjust this person's color, uh, first I want to create a duplicate layer so that if we ever want to go back to this point, we can do that easily. So I'm going to right click and do duplicate layer. I'll hide the original layer so that we're only editing this copy. I'll go to colors and we'll start with brightness and contrast. So we can darken her a bit, increase the contrast to make her come into the scene a bit more. And honestly, that might be enough for what your purposes are. If you need to do other layer adjustments, you can go up to the colors menu and mess around with it a little bit. That actually looks pretty good. So what I'll also do is take the boy from the previous image and copy and paste him in. So new layer here and I'll paste him over here. So once again, with the tree layer, the original tree image, we'll cut a portion out so that this lower half of the body is hiding again. Uh, so I will hide the boy for temporary purposes and do another path selection so that we can hide the boy's body from the image. If you need to edit any point, just click on it and uh, drag it a bit until you get it perfect. And make sure you connect the last two points at the end. So here I'll do a path to selection. I will cut that selection out of the tree image and post it into layer one. Now we can show the boy and he'll be there as well. And there you go. Uh, two people spliced into another image behind objects in the scene, giving the illusion that both of those children are actually part of the original image. So I've been Chris, that's going to be it for this GIMP tutorial. I hope you guys found it useful and interesting, and I will see you guys in my future video content.